Hey, this is Rob Sparry, and in this video, we're going to talk about the cab enclosure for our UTV, and the reason we picked the product from SideBySideEnclosures.com. We'll also show you a few installation tips. You ready to do it? Let's do it. Now, if you're like me, you do a lot of research on the interweb, looking for product information, purchases that you want to make. Sometimes the success really depends on how well we phrase the question. But a great place to start is the Honda Side-by-Side -side Club Forum. Now, the online forum is free. You don't need to register to do searches. If you do want to post questions and responses, you will need to register. Registration is also free. I recommend, if you check it out, if you like it, join at the supporting member level. That's $15. And it takes a lot of time and money to keep communities like this going. I would recommend that you also check out the club store. The club store has a lot of great accessories. It's where I got my winch and a number of other items. The club store is going to have basically the same price as Amazon, but Amazon doesn't need the money. So pony up and feed the beast. I'm guaranteed that you're going to get a lot more value than $15 out of it. Plus you're going to meet a lot of great people. Finally, if you like the video, be sure to click the like button. And if you don't like it, leave me some feedback. Let me know how I can improve. And click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I've got several more in the works as I speak. So let's get to the enclosure. All right, let's talk about wiring. It's really important that your cab enclosure be wired up to the auxiliary battery, not the main battery. We don't want any load on the main battery coming from the cab enclosure. I really am just messing with you. It's left over from a previous video. I've got to erase it and I'll be right with you. So why did we choose this particular product? You mentioned earlier that we went with the SideBySideEnclosures.com product. Our first criteria is that we want soft doors. We don't want the aggravation, the extra weight, and the labor required to swap between hard doors and soft doors. Now maybe the hard doors have a better seal, uh, but we found that the soft doors are perfectly good and we're very happy with that choice. Uh, number two, we wanted a full cab enclosure. So some options allow for uh, the front row to have uh, the cab and then the back is uh, open with, for your bed. In this product, you can do both. You can do the full cab and you can reconfigure so the rear panel moves up to the midsection so that you can still use the bed. And that reconfiguration just takes a couple of minutes. It's very simple to do. So uh, we have the best of both worlds in that regard. Another criteria for us was ease of installation. This product is very easy to install. The owner, Sherry, uses a YouTube video for her installation. So in fact, you'll get a, a little one page instruction sheet with a few tips. And then she says, now go watch this video. It's, it's quite good. So um, I think she's done a great job there. Number four, cost. This product turned out to be pretty much the cheapest uh, full cab enclosure we could find. It's a 650 and that's with the Velcro. We added another $50 option to get snaps, so it's about $700 with the snaps. Now you can also get rivets if you want, but we don't want to drill our machine. We decided to go with the snaps and they work great. So with that, let's go to the negatives. Uh, the only negative we're really aware of are what some people don't like about the doors having to use a zipper to get in and out. It's kind of like a tent. So when you're on the outside, you have to unzip You've got to reach your hand in, pull the door open, get in, and then uh, like a tent, when you're on the inside, you have to zipper it closed. We believe that that is a non-issue. It's very easy to get in and out. The zipper is very easy to uh, use. It's well designed, works great even in very cold weather. So we believe that that one negative is a, is a non-factor. So with that, let's get to the installation. It's hard to believe that four doors and a rear window panel all fit in this little box. Let's take a look. Well, here are the contents. We've got the four doors and the rear panel still rolled up. We've got instructions, the Velcro, the self-adhesive snaps, and a storage bag for the doors that you're not using on any given time. Looks good to start. All right, so once we unpack everything, we've got the rear panel. It's laid out here. The front and rear doors 
are, for each side, are already zipped together. So you'll have three sections that come out of the box. There's actually two storage bags that you get. First thing we're gonna do is some surface preparation and cleaning, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And the rear panel is the first thing that we're gonna install. So we're gonna put the rear panel on first. And there are two sleeves that come for the rear panel. Uh, they both are exactly the same. One is gonna go on the middle ropes, the rollover protection system, the rollover bar. And the other one came, it's already zippered up. And you can leave it zipped on because we're gonna just hang it directly on the rear bar and we're gonna put the middle one on the middle bar and we'll uh, show you what that looks like. So here we have this sleeve and it has a number of Velcro straps and we're just gonna put one on each end and then we're gonna center it before we tighten any of the rest of them. So there are a number of other straps here. We're not gonna put those on yet. We're gonna center it and we're gonna get the side pieces tightened around first before we uh, do the rest of the straps. Now, as we're cleaning to make a good connection for our Velcro and our snaps, we found that when we pull it down, it's just below the Honda logo. And she's very clear not to put anything on top of the decals. If you have decals, don't put anything on top of the decals. So it's been nicely manufactured so that uh, the snaps just come under the, the uh, letters and then the Velcro curves around and we'll put one of the snaps right here, just above the latch. And then there's another snap. This is gonna end up just to the right of this uh, light and we're good to go. Same thing on the other side. So for the side doors, you wanna clean, we're using some isopropyl alcohol. You clean the ropes bar. That's what we're gonna be attaching the Velcro to. They provide the Velcro, a nice roll of it. You want that cleaned and dried before you start your door hanging. So we're gonna heat up our roll bar a little bit with this $10 heat gun that we use for shrink wrapping in our dual battery video. We want the material to be around room temperature or warmer so that it adheres well to the Velcro that we're getting ready to put up. Uh, so you want to just go along that material, get it warmed up a bit before you put the Velcro on. So we're going to remove our side mirrors. We found that with the doors on, we can't really use them anyway. There's too much interference with the material. So we're going to pop these off and just swing the bracket around a little bit, keep it out of the way for the winter months, and we'll pop them back on for the summer. So when you initially hang the doors, you're gonna put the top part up on the Velcro uh, just as a loose hang and you, and you stretch it out maybe a foot at a time until you get it all the way down. You might come into a couple of spots that, that need a little finessing. Uh, we had a mirror here that we had to take off. You can cut for the mirror. Uh, we decided not to. We're just gonna go without our side, uh, side mirrors during the winter months and had the Velcro come all the way down. The snap part should line up. You wanna make sure that all of your snaps are lined up in the area that you think they should. You know, pull it taut. And once you're comfortable that it's in the right place, you're gonna unzip the door panels from the sleeve, and then you can put the um, straps around the roll bar a little more easily. And with our roof, our factory roof, you know, we can kind of push it up a little bit. So it's pretty easy to do. All right, one thing we found that was a good trick for getting the snaps and the adhesive to line up is to go ahead and put the snap on before you peel off the backing tape. You figure out where your, your um, snap is gonna go and you kind of mark it. Then you put the swab of your adhesive starter primer into the spot, and then you've got a good lineup. Then you're gonna wait a, a moment or so, let that uh, dry, air dry for a second, and peel off the backing tape, and then 
place it, and we hold it there for a couple seconds. That seems to work really well. Our cabin closure installation is complete. I think it came out great, looks great, works great. There are going to be a couple of spots where air is going to come in. We have really no problem with that. You can get some little insulation or foam or whatever and put up there if you want to really keep it out. We find that the fresh air coming in is actually pretty good. We're plenty warm in there. I'm going to add a heater. I've got another video I'm going to do to show you how to install a heater. Uh, but right now, we don't even really feel it's uh, that necessary. Here, I really like the rear panel design. Allows for the two rear lights to remain installed and working without having to do any cutouts. Another thing that's great about this rear panel design is it can be moved up to the midsection so that you can just take these rear doors off. There's a zipper right here. You just unzip that and unzip this little spot right here and this door comes off and same with the other side you you roll them up and put them in your little storage case and take this panel and move it up it only takes a couple seconds to zip it up to the midsection that allows you to use the back uh, completely uh, as your bed it op it's uh, going to tilt up and still work like a dump bed works great so i guess we should talk about going in and out something that some people don't like is the zipper door system. We think that it's perfectly fine. It's not a problem. You take the zipper on the outside. It's a well-designed, well-made zipper. It's super easy to open, even in cold weather. And then you can reach your hand in and you can pop the door open. Now for the back, uh, because the doors swing the opposite direction, you know, the zipper goes in the opposite direction and the handle's up here. And on the front door, the handle's at the back. So, uh, to when you're on the inside, of course, there's another zipper, just like a tent. And boom, you're in. Works great.